Well, he swore he'd never do it again, but this week Koshi returned to Kilimanjaro and from the weather extremes to the altitude sickness, we've followed every painful step of the massive climb. Well, the thing that kept the group going was knowing how much money they were raising for our children's hospitals. So overnight, they set off for the summit and yes, they made it. It's good. Hey, we made it. The roof of Africa. Is it easier the second time? No, I'm not cut out for this sort of stuff. Joseph, how tough? Toughest thing I've ever done. So, it is the altitude, isn't it? It's the altitude. It's a walk. It's a scree. It's the motion. It's the endurance. There's nothing left in the tank. Can I do it again? <laughs> Gosh, it's just like the blue bounce. <laughs> he thought a bit looked like he thought a bit looked look like the three sisters a day or so ago. Goodness me. Um, around three o'clock this morning is my worst time sort of seeing double and the whole thing and then the cavalry comes my two boys here who stuck with me all the time they could have been up here probably two hours earlier than me but uh, they, they stuck around how tough was it for you age oh my god it's ridiculous there's no way i could have come up earlier it's just quite simply the hardest thing you could do. Uh, I think my favourite part of the whole thing is on day one, just before we started, Joe's sitting in the car just says, this is going to be easy. <laughs> well, what a week. See you back at, um, at sunrise on, on Monday. Back into it. Looking forward to it.